Hey there! Today I'm going to teach you how to tie your new treasure beads. You'll notice that I'm wearing two strands, a permanent strand, a custom design I made for myself, and Courage from my Wild Side collection that's made in the removable strand option. Whether this is your first one or you're just adding to your collection, you can follow this tutorial to find out how to tie your new beads. I'm going to go through tying both options that we offer. We'll have the removable version. This strand is made on a semi-stretch cord that allows it to be removed. I never take mine off though. And then we'll go over how to tie the permanent option that's made on a cotton string. You never take it off and unless you cut it or the string pops, it's not likely to come off. Either way, you can sleep, swim, work out, shower, you can do everything, you can live in your new beads. So this is the permanent one. And we're going to go ahead and start with the removable option. It's a little easier to tie. Now let's take a deep breath. Before I tie any new strands, I always pause and take a moment to think about what intention I want to set for each one. I think they're fashionable and they look great on everybody, but they do so much more work when you assign a goal or a commitment to them. You never want to just tie it just for no reason. You want to really make sure it's a meaningful experience. So first you'll start by tying this around your waist or holding it so that you can see where it falls in proximity to your other beads. Now if this is your first strand, you can usually gauge where you should let this fall by using your navel as a guide. You don't want the string too lax and you want to make sure you push the beads close together otherwise they'll pinch as they move around. Holding one end of the string in one hand and the excess string in the other hand, you're going to go ahead and tie your first knot. Cross over and pull the shortest end of the string underneath like you're tying a shoe. Now I'm a numbers girl so I like to tie these in um, the same pattern the same way every single time. I use seven as my lucky number. I believe it's the number of completion and it makes me feel that whatever intention that I set on the strand by tying it seven times that means it, it's gonna happen. It's going to come true. My goal, my commitment will be completed and it's just symbolic for me. Whether you believe that or not, the number seven is a number that you can use to make sure that your string, this semi-permanent removable uh, stretch uh, cord is not going to come apart. So once you've tied it seven times, you're going to gather both ends grab a pair of scissors and cut just a little bit below the knot. Don't cut too close. Each strand is made with a little extra give just in case you need a little extra for a bracelet or an anklet. If you've determined that you want these pre-tied, yours will not come with this excess. But if you choose the option to tie it yourself, you can do with the extra beads what you wish. As you can see, um, these beads are now going to fall uh, stackable with my other beads. If you're going for the girdled look, you'll want to tie them exactly where your other beads fall, but I prefer the stacked look. That means that they look like they're in layers um, and you'll see my new one falls right in between my other two. I love how they look and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for shopping with Treasure Beads. Treasure yourself.